Hi everyone and welcome back to another video with Ginger Bexy. Um, I'm sorry I've not done a video for like the last couple of weeks. Um, it's been a bit, yeah, I've been in a bit of a bad mood for the last couple of weeks. Um, not go too much into it to be honest, but everyone has their, their bad days. Um, everyone has their, their sort of down times. And it's been that for me the last couple of weeks. So I do apologise for not doing a video, but... It would have not been a very, very good video, to be honest. So, I'm back now, I'm here. Um, and I'm bored out my rocket. Like, seriously, I'm so fucking bored. Um, I'm actually doing it on Saturday because I have nothing to do today. Um, I've literally sat all morning doing nothing. I've sat and watched Sword Art Online. Um, I fucking love Sword Art Online though. I don't know if anyone's like seen it on my Instagram. I've, I've put up a video. A video? Shut up, Becca. I put up a, a photo the other day there of the, the drawn Adam of Kirito. And it's so, so good. Well, <laughs> not to blow my own trumpet or anything like that, but it's such a good, like for me, it's a really, really good drawing. I'm so happy with how it turned out. That's it there. Awesome, isn't it? Love it. <laughs> I'm so happy with how that one turned out. I also done a Juvia again, that's this one here. Um, I was working on uh, the, the, her hair because I've never really been able to draw hair that well. Um, it's just been like sort of blocks. So I was really, really quite, I was really wanting to try and, and like do hair better. So that's how Juvia turned out, really, really good. I'm quite chuffed with that. So then I went on to draw Kirito and I wanted to, um, work on the eyes because again anime eyes I've not been the best at so um, <clears throat> I I done a couple of test drawings and I'll actually just show you that one here. Uh, where is it? Yes. For the eyes. And I thought, you know what, I'll try and put the eyes into Kirito's drawing as well. So I done that and I'm really, really quite happy with how it turned out. I got a bit bored of drawing it though. <clears throat> Um, like, I work on a drawing for so long and then I think, yeah, I'm bored. <laughs> so it's still not finished, but I'll go back to it at some point. I do that with all of them. Like, I'll draw them to a certain extent, I'll post them when they, they look half decent, and then I'll be like, yeah, I'm bored now. <laughs> and then I'll go back to them, like, another time, and I finish them off in my own time. Um, but I've been, I've been really enjoying drawing again. Um, I go through phases, like... I'll go through, I like to sit and read books all the time, I like to sit and watch movies or watch animes or draw or something. Usually when I, I watch animes I draw at the same time because every time I, I watch an anime I want to draw it. Um, so anyway, I really enjoyed drawing Kirito because that was that one, that was really really good. I'm quite chuffed with how that one turned out. Yay! Um, so yeah, that's literally all I've done this morning though. I had a coffee, which is why I'm a bit, yeah. <laughs> um, coffee's awesome, I love coffee. But I'm actually, I'm so bored today that I'm going to go to the gym soon. I'm doing this video, I'm waiting to hear back from my friend because she said at one point that she would want to go to the gym with me. So um, I'm waiting to hear back from her to see if she wants to go. But I'm going to go in like the next hour or something anyway. Um, I've been going to the gym quite a lot recently. Well, not quite a lot. I, I went back on, which day did I start? I started back after Christmas on the 4th to work. And I went that day as well. <coughs> Me and my sister, we plan to go twice a week together and then I'll go once at the weekend or twice at the weekend by myself. But, um, so we went on the Wednesday when we went back to work and we were going to go back on the Tuesday but on the Monday I got really, really sick and I had the flu. Um, and of course, the flu lasts for ages. So I had the flu and I only started feeling better after three weeks, like properly, like proper better after three weeks. So me and my sister, we went back to the gym and I didn't go at the weekend that I can't remember. I'm, I'm so bad with time scales, I can't actually remember which bloody day was what. Um, so I've been, go I've been going at least once or twice a week. Um, I'm, quite, I'm quite enjoying being back at the gym. Because like, see after work, um, like after you've had like a really, really stressful day at work or anything like that, or if you've just had a bad day in general, I think the gym actually really, really helps. Like, I always find that um, if you go to the gym, it de-stresses you and, I don't know, because I don't sleep very well. Like, I really sleep horribly. Or, sorry, when I go to sleep, well, when I go to my bed, I find it really, really difficult to fall asleep, but then I don't wake up in the mornings. <laughs> I'm more of a night owl. Like, I used to work at this, um, this fast food place 
Um, it was the only job I could get, by the way. And the job itself was piss easy, and the people were so lovely, but there's no money. <clears throat> like, you literally, I mean, there were some day, some weeks that I was earning like £90 a week, which was not enough money at all. But it was the only thing I could get at the time. But the hours, like, you would start at, well, you were meant to start at four and finish at one. That was the hours the shop was open. But um, you would always end up being there till like half one, two o'clock. Um, so, say you get, you get home for two and then you have your dinner and then you watch a bit of TV. And I was going to bed at seven o'clock in the morning sometimes. And, uh, I mean, that was, that was just normal. That was, that was how it was when you worked there. Me and quite a few of my friends used to work there. <clears throat> and you just became a night owl. That, that, was, that was your hours. And, you know, your morning was when you woke up at like one, two o'clock in the afternoon. So um, when, <laughs> when I get back to nine to five work, which I'm doing now, it's really, really quite hard to, to wake up in the mornings. I always struggle to wake up in the mornings. Oh, but um, there was a point to that. Oh yeah, so like when, when I go to the gym, come home, have my dinner, have my shower, and when I go to my bed, I am so, so tired because I've worked so hard at the gym. And I love that. I love being able to actually go to my bed at a decent time and falling asleep properly. Um, but uh, I was off on Monday. I had a day off on Monday because uh, my, my boiler was needing a checkup thing. I don't know. Um, a yearly service or whatever. And um, it was actually meant to happen like the week or the week before. Um, and I just forgot about it. So I took that Monday off and I didn't sleep a wink the night before. Um, I sat up and I watched I watched 27 Dresses. Or did I? No, I didn't. I watched Moulin Rouge and I actually can't remember if I know. I was quite distracted. I can't remember everything that I watched, but I watched quite a few movies. Moulin Rouge, by the way, is like my all-time favourite movie. I absolutely love Moulin Rouge. It's so freaking good. I love it. Um, it's just so, I don't know, it's so funny and happy but sad at the same time. It's really, really good. I like it. Um, so yeah, that day I didn't have any sleep and I went for a nap at like two o'clock in the afternoon on Monday, like after the, the guy had been in to fix my boiler. Um, he went away and I just lay on the sofa and then I woke up and it was like half past five and I thought, what the fuck? <laughs> what day is it? What year is it? Because it was just it was just at that time when it was just getting dark. So when I woke up, I didn't know if it was like 5 p.m. or 5 a.m. It was... <laughs> I like sleeps like that. Um, oh, I have to tell you about my dream. Like, oh, wasn't it? It was a nightmare. But it was like the most realistic nightmare ever, right? Come on, kids, sit down. It's story time. <clears throat> I have these dreams sometimes where they're so, so vivid and I mean they're normally like stupid dreams, like silly wee dreams. Dreams that just, you wake up and you just go, what? But um, this dream was about, um, it, was a, it was a scary dream, it was really, really horrible, right? It started off, I was arguing with Olaf, right? Yeah, the cat, that one there. I was arguing, she wasn't actually talking back by the way, my mind isn't that weird, but um, she wanted to get out. It, like, because they're both house cats, they're not allowed out of the house. Because um, I live in a flat, by the way. And she wanted out, but I knew for a fact that if she went out, something bad would happen. And I didn't know why I knew this, but I just knew that something, something bad would happen. So I was like, ah, no, you're not getting out. But lo and behold, she got out anyway, because she's a dick. Um, and... Like, throughout the dream, because I had been sitting, um, this was just after my last video when I was talking about horror films. Um, in my dream, like, all these wee snippets from horror films was happening. Now, like, one of them, my friend picked up her baby, and as she was picking up the baby, a hand, like a zombie type of hand, tried to grab the baby. Um, and then it was gone. And there was, like, a girl walking about, and she was, like, all the, the jittery movements and things. Um, like, you see in, like, the messengers and things like that. Um, and the girl from The Ring was also in the, in the dream somewhere and oh, it was just, it was terrifying all these wee bits and bobs. So anyway, Olaf gets out and for some reason I need to show this guy, I don't know who the guy was or where he came from or whatever, but I had to show this guy about this town, um, like a wee tour guide type of thing. And the, the tour ended at this big stadium. Like, at the, there was like a, a square field and at the top, like at the, at the end, 
there was a, a wee um, stage type of thing. So, and in this field, there was a path that ran round the edge of it to the stage. And I was on the stage and I was telling the guy, so this is the stage here, welcome. And uh, I can remember all this so vividly, by the way. And I can remember thinking, right, something bad's going to happen now. And the SWAT team comes. <laughs> yeah, no way. And they're just, they're, they're, they've got me pinned down with their guns. Now, I can actually remember, I was giggling, I actually remember laughing at it in the dream going, what the fuck? Um, if you've ever watched Jack Jacksepticeye, whenever he like plays any like police games or anything like that, he says, get down on the ground! And that was the voice that was like being shouted at me. And I can remember in the dream giggling going, that's Jack's voice. <laughs> anyway, so I'm, I'm pinned down with their guns on me. And um, I think this isn't the bad thing. The bad thing's still to come. So I look at the field and there's this one man walking across the field. Now, if you remember the B square, he was like here-ish. And he was just stopped, like totally stopped dead and turned into a werewolf. Um, and now I am absolutely petrified of werewolves. Like seriously, absolutely terrified of werewolves. I'm actually more scared of werewolves than I am anything else. But I love them. At the same time, like Dog Soldiers is one of my favourite movies. I love movies to do with them, but they terrify the living fucks out of me. So anyway, this guy turns into a werewolf and we're like, fuck. Um, so I'd shout to everyone, you just need to get out of here, but stay on the path because the werewolf can't walk on the path. Don't know why you can't walk on the path because like in the bit like in the middle of the path it's all grass so anyway so they, they all have to run on the path so that the werewolf can't get to them so this guy and he's like a total terrifying werewolf he actually it was the werewolf out of dog soldiers and um, so i started running down this path and then i see him running parallel to me like bombing after my olaf and i'm like fuck i need to get to olaf um i'll draw you a little diagram of what happens Where's my pencil? Where's my pencil? Right, so. Wait a minute. Right, can you see this? Here's, this? here's the stage, right? And I'm like, I'm here, running this way, and he's like here, running this way, with my Olaf here. And I know that I need to get down here, and turn this corner, and grab my Olaf before the, the, the werewolf comes over there, right? So I'm running and running and running. Obviously, in a dream, you don't run as fast as what you normally would. And I can see him and he's like snarling and Olaf. You can just tell by her wee face that she's so scared. Um, and we're tanking and I turn the corner and I grab my Olaf and then the werewolf comes and he jumps over the path because he can't walk on the path but he can fucking jump over it. He jumps over the path and he grabs me and I can like I can just remember his, his head was here and I turned around and that's when I woke up. And I woke up and I was like, I was shaking and I was sweating and I was so scared to turn around and I was like, uh, and it took, me like, it took me like two minutes to realise I'm not dreaming anymore, I'm, I'm awake now, it's fine now and anyway, so I move a little bit and I've got Yoshi sitting on my bed, right I move a little bit and Yoshi he falls over because of the movement and it hits me in the head and I fucking, oh, my heart stopped I was so fucking scared and I'm like, what the fuck? It was so scary. Now it sounds like not scary when I'm actually talking about it, but I was absolutely petrified because it was so vivid. I can still remember every single detail, every single emotion that I felt whilst I was um, having the dream, and every single emotion that I felt when I woke up as well. And I was like, oh, "Wow!" It was so freaking scary. But then I woke up and I was dying for the toilet as well, and I was like, oh, "I don't want to go to the toilet." <laughs> I did eventually because I was like, all right, grow up, Becca, it's fine. <laughs> but, um, oh, it was so scary. Fucking Yoshi, by the way. Honestly, what a ball bag. Um, but yeah, this little cat. What's she doing? Oh, it's past time. The other cat. Oh, she was making me giggle earlier on. I've got, um, do you know the tequila beer Desperados? Best beer ever. I freaking love it. I've actually drank so much of it recently that it's, it's not funny. Um, anyway, so I've got a box of it sitting over in the corner there and I was sitting watching my um, Sword Art Online and um, <clears throat> I just heard this noise over and over and over and over again. I was like, what the hell's that? So I turned around and she's sitting there and she's just like rubbing her face on this box and she was doing it for like three, four minutes or something like that because um, I can remember sitting on the timestamp on the, the, the TV and I was like, 
She's still doing that. So I took a video and for a full minute, I'll not show you the full video, but here is like a bit of the video. And she's just sitting, doing this over and over and over again with this box. And she's now sleeping with her head in the box. She's so cute. <laughs> I love my little cats. Uh, so apart from my dreaming that, I've not really had anything exciting happening recently. As I said, I've not been in the best moods and I'm in a, good, I'm in a better mood now. Like, I, I think everyone gets moods like that, so um, that was just my little yeah, time. So, yeah, feeling better now though. But I'm skint. Like, I have literally no money. I was so sober last night and it's just... I, I sat in my house coat, on my sofa there, watching more sword art online. Bored. I ended up going to my bed at like half past nine because I was that bored. Well, actually, I went to my bed at half past eight and I was going to watch a movie. I put the holiday on and then about halfway through it, I was like, I'm too tired. I'm going to bed. I'm so bored. And I have the whole day ahead of me now. And that's what I'm saying. I'm going to go to the gym. Um, about that, I'm only ever at the gym for a bit, an hour or something. I might take a bit more time today. Now, oh, excuse me. Hiccup. Um, I might take some more time today and actually, like, just waste time at the gym so I, I, when I come home I've got you know less time to do nothing and um, because all my friends are all busy like I'm I'm like the only single person in my friend like I've I've got very very few people that I actually call friends and um, like I've got people that I know and people that I'm friendly with and things but there's very very few people that I actually consider as my friends and um, I've actually only got two like close friends that I, that I share everything with and that's Tony who has a boyfriend and Laurie who has a boyfriend and then there's obviously my sister as well who has a boyfriend and I'm just sitting here like I'm single like we had a little um it was Tony's birthday last weekend it was also my uncle's wedding last Friday by the way which was absolutely fantastic congratulations to them it was so lovely I had a little tear in my eye when they were getting married because it was, it was really really nice um but anyway so we were at the wedding on the Friday um and I was so drunk because there was so much alcohol going about um, and was meant to go up to Dundee on the Saturday afternoon and then Tony was coming down and we were all going out like on the, the Saturday night but um, I was so drunk on the Friday night that I text Tony and says I cannot drive today I am sorry um, and she had also been drinking on the Friday night so she was really 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 hungover my sister was hungover as well because she was also at the wedding same with her boyfriend and um, Tony's boyfriend as well was drinking on the, the Friday night so we were like uh, we don't want to go out because we were so hungover so we end up just saying let's go to Becca's and have a Chinese and a couple of drinks and we played Cards Against Humanity and we played um, Uno which I'd never played before which is awesome by the way I, I, I got um, I, I didn't well I won the first one like I was the, the first person with no cards and the second time I think I was the third person with no cards or something the first one was funny and it just it ended up with just my sister and her boyfriend going between each other it was so funny um, but yeah, we were so hungover on the Saturday that nobody wanted to go out. But anyway, so there was more people that were meant to go out on the Saturday night. But because we were just going to end up sitting in here, there wasn't really enough space for everybody. So um, it ended up being my sister and her boyfriend, Tony and her boyfriend, Laurie and her boyfriend, and me and my cats. I'm so single. <laughs> so yeah, like all my friends, they're all like... They're all busy with their boyfriends and like Tony and her boyfriend have moved in together. Congratulations you guys, I'm so happy for you. Um, and I'm just like, uh, I'll sit here with my cats and watch anime. <laughs> anyway, um, I've been talking for like nearly 18 minutes now so I'm going to go. No, nearly 19 minutes now. So I'm going to go and get ready for the gym. Just basically stick my hair up and put some other clothes on. That's literally it, because I, I live round the corner from my gym, like literally you go to the end of my street and it's right there. And I've been like, I've only just started, like I moved in here last March I think it was, and I only started going to the gym in January. Oops. <laughs> anyway, so um, I will be back next weekend because as I said, I'm in, a, I'm in a better mood now. I hope you just don't mind that by the way, because I mean if I'm not in a very good mood, if I'm feeling a bit down, the videos won't be very good, so... Um, I do tend to just skip doing videos on those days because there's just there's no point if I'm feeling that crap. Um, but anyway, uh, if you like this video, hit the like button below and subscribe for more and I'll see you guys all next Sunday for the next video. See you later, bye!
So, what was I saying? Yeah, so I started watching Insidious so, like last night, um, Friday night, and I was sitting just happily watching it, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to be brave. And actually, I got Sam out to sit and um, sit with me, also, 